You must be born again, born from above. Now, why did Jesus say that to Nicodemus? Because he could read the heart of Nicodemus. He saw what was in him. He saw that he had covered himself with religion, but he had not yet found the real thing, fellowship with God. Sin is a transgression of the law, 1 John 3, 4. Sin is a transgression of the law. What law? The law of Moses, the Ten Commandments. Have you ever broken one of those commandments? Then you're guilty of all. It's also the breaking of the law of conscience. Have you ever gone against your conscience at any time? Sure you have. And if you go against your conscience very long, your conscience becomes dull and duller and duller until after a while it's a seared conscience and a dead conscience. We need those sins forgiven. We need to be clothed in the righteousness of God for the purpose of finding fulfillment in this life, finding something to commit yourself to. What are you committed to? Are you a committed person? Do you really believe in a cause? Do you really believe in a person that symbolizes that cause? Why don't you make your cause Christ and follow Him? He'll never let you down. A Christian is a person who has accepted a challenge. Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. How many of you are looking for a challenge? And he's knocking on your heart's door tonight with those wonderful hands of his that created the universe. Will you open the door and let him in? You have to open. You may be a member of the church, you may be Catholic, Protestant, Jewish, or you may not have any church affiliation. You may not have any religion. I don't know. Or you may be a deacon in the church. You may be singing in the choir. But you know Jesus is knocking at your heart's door. You want to make sure of your relationship to him tonight. And you cannot work your way alone, not by works of righteousness which we've done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Spirit. Christ taught clearly that there are two roads, two masters, and two destinies. We cannot travel both roads, so we avoid the choice as long as we can. There's death in every choice. You die to one road when you go down the other. Life never allows neutrality. And you find descriptions of the death of Christ upon the cross in the Old Testament because the Old Testament looked forward to the day when Jesus Christ would become the great Lamb of God and offer Himself upon the cross for our sins. You don't have peace with God. You don't have the assurance in your heart that your sins are forgiven. You don't know that you have eternal life. You're not certain of it. Oh, you might have been baptized or confirmed or you've joined a church somewhere and you have some little bit of religion, but you're not sure of your relationship with God. You have a doubt about it. Well, before this night is over, settle it and make sure. Come to the cross. And he uses your hands as you minister, the hands of a doctor, the hands of a nurse, the hands of a social worker, the hands of the clergyman, the hands of the psychiatrist or the psychologist to talk to you, to heal you, to help you. But there's the hands of Jesus to heal your heart, to heal your mind, to heal your soul, to heal your body if he wills.